realm of conspiracy theories, one concept that has sparked widespread fascination is the Kardashev scale. Named after Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev, this cosmic framework for measuring a civilization's technological advancement is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. But why? Join us as we delve deep into the enigmatic world of the Kardashev scale and the astonishing conspiracies that surround it. But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Before we dive into the conspiracy theories, let us first understand the basics of the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's technological progress by the amount of energy it can harness and utilize. It categorizes civilizations into three primary types. According to the scale, a type 1 civilization can harness and control all the energy resources available on its home planet. A type 2 civilization can harness the energy output of its entire star, while the most advanced on the scale, which is a type 2 civilization, can harness the energy resources of an entire galaxy. The Kardashev scale has unsurprisingly captured the interests of scientists, futurists, and science fiction enthusiasts. It provides a framework for contemplating a civilization's development and has sparked discussions and expansions. Originally, Kardashev believed humanity was nearing type 1 status, but subsequent reevaluations have been more self critical. In 1973, when American astronomer and planetary scientist Carl Sagan encountered Kardashev's civilization classification work, he observed that the disparities between Kardashev's identified types were too vast for accurate modeling of civilization's evolution. Consequently, Sagan proposed a refined classification based on Kardashev's types, which allows for continuous values and places humanity at a modest 0.7. One important question to consider, however, is whether Earth can advance on the scale, and if so, how much energy will be necessary? Undeniably, humanity has made significant progress from our earliest days, from discovering fire to creating the Internet. These technological strides have profoundly influenced our daily lives and our perception of the world. Nevertheless, our energy systems still heavily rely on non-renewable sources. To attain Type 1 status, it is essential to enhance energy storage and distribution capabilities, allowing us to better manage the variability of renewable energy sources. Furthermore, our environmental impact and the growing effects of climate change call for increased emphasis on sustainability and ecological responsibility. Tackling these challenges demands a shift in global priorities and values toward a more eco-friendly approach. There's yet another challenge that hampers our advancements on the scale, and it lies in our excessive use of finite resources which poses a substantial threat to our planet's sustainability. Conflict and warfare also serve as hindrances on our path toward Type 1 status, as human tendencies toward discord can divert our focus from cooperation toward shared objectives. Nevertheless, numerous positive factors contribute to our progress on the scale. Remarkable strides in technology and science, combined with an increasing environmental consciousness, form a solid foundation for future growth and development. The growth of renewable energy as well as the development of energy storage technologies exemplify our potential for sustainable energy production. Furthermore, advancements in artificial intelligence and space exploration underscore humanity's capacity for extraordinary achievements in the future. Reaching the coveted status of a Type 1 civilization necessitates an enormous amount of energy surpassing the current capabilities of Earth's available technologies. Efficient solar cells, or harnessing the power of fusion, are among the possibilities. And to harness the sun's energy effectively, we need to cover Earth and other celestial bodies like the Moon, Mars, and asteroids with high-efficiency solar panels. Alternatively, we could tap into geothermal and nuclear reserves, though this path might have detrimental effects on the environment. However, such high energy consumption carries potential impacts on the biosphere. Depending on how we generate and use this energy, it could lead to ecological damage, including deforestation, soil degradation, and air pollution. Moreover, energy usage might trigger a feedback loop of global warming, instigating widespread climate change and endangering numerous species, including our own survival. The ultimate challenge we face is in discovering a sustainable business model capable of financing and implementing the vast energy production and control systems required to achieve Type 1 status. While theoretically possible, the certainty of achieving this status in the future remains uncertain. The reality, however, is that we are continuously ascending the scale. With every advancement in our energy production and utilization, 
we draw closer to becoming a Type 1 society, as envisioned by Kardashev and later iterations of the scale. Some experts believe that reaching Type 1 status could be attainable in the next 100 to 200 years. On the other hand, progressing to Type 2 might require thousands of years, while Type 3 could extend well beyond 100,000 years into the future. While the Kardashev scale it has fueled a multitude of theories about humanity's true potential and the existence of secret, advanced civilizations. One of the most intriguing Kardashev scale conspiracies suggests that a Type II civilization could already exist on Earth. Proponents of this theory argue that a secretive group has harnessed the energy of our Sun, keeping it hidden from the general population. The evidence for this theory is scarce, but proponents point to the rapid advancements in solar technology and our increasingly efficient use of solar energy is a sign that someone is in the know. Some even speculate that this secret group could be controlling global events from behind the scenes. Another compelling Kardashev scale conspiracy revolves around the idea that governments and elite organizations are actively suppressing information about advanced energy technologies and civilizations that may already exist. The reasoning behind this suppression ranges from fear of societal upheaval to preserving the status quo of power. But could the truth about the Kardashev scale have been hidden away to maintain control over humanity? The allure of the Kardashev scale lies in the possibility of our civilization's growth and the secrets hidden within the cosmos. Conspiracy theories surrounding the scale are a testament to our unquenchable curiosity about the universe and our place in it. As we continue to advance technologically and explore the cosmos, the Kardashev scale remains a symbol of the infinite possibilities that await us beyond the stars. While evidence for these conspiracies is scarce, they serve as a reminder that the truth about our potential, both as individuals and as a species, may be far more extraordinary than we can imagine. As humanity continues its quest for knowledge and cosmic exploration, the secrets hidden within the Kardashev scale may one day be unveiled, revealing a reality beyond our wildest dreams. Until then, the conspiracies surrounding the scale will continue to capture our imaginations and spark intriguing discussions about the mysteries that lie beyond the stars. Do you think the conspiracy theories about the Kardashev scale are true? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to also hit that notification bell because we have more amazing stories on the way. We'll see you in the next video.